George Roberts Productions and the Pocono Chamber of Commerce present the 2022 Busy Awards from the Mount Airy Casino Resort. Brought to you by 138 Beyond the Decor, St. Luke's University Health Network, Mount Airy Casino Resort and Spa, Lehigh Valley Health Network, Kalahari Resorts and Conventions, Pocono Mountains Visitors Bureau, Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield, ESSA Bank and Trust, Search and Destroy Media, My Girl Managed Services, Big Screen Escapes, Full Circle Removal, Pocono Record, Pocono 96.7, EBC Printing, Evening Sun Entertainment, Mr. Perfecto, VIP Studios, and Web Leaps. Don't let the light go out. Don't let the light go out. And now, here are your hosts, George and Connie Roberts. Well, hello, everybody. There we go. Welcome to the 2022 Busy Awards. I'm George Roberts. <laughs> and I'm Connie Roberts. It's our 16th edition of the Busy Awards. Well, thank you for that. Uh... <laughs> In my head, it was a standing ovation anyway. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this year, it's the theme Roaring Twenties. Everyone looks great here at the Mount Airy Casino Resort. And they did a fabulous job putting this all together. We want to thank them. Mount Airy, thank you so much. <laughs> During the early years of prohibition in the United States, some theaters banned prohibition jokes. So I was kind of hoping we could ban yours this year, George. <laughs> you can't ban my jokes, toots. <laughs> Hey, I'm a dame, ain't I? You could be a dame, sure. <laughs> Connie, I know you're a bit tiffed at me. My wife doesn't like my girlfriend. Yeah, her name's Alexa, and we argue all the time. You guys have Alexa? <laughs> Look, I asked her to help us write a joke about the Roaring Twenties, you know, prohibition and all that, but she said she hit a dry spell. <laughs> oh, well. Da -da -da. Uh, Tom Cruise is making a movie about distilling moonshine during Prohibition. It's, it's called, called Whiskey Business. Whiskey Business. <laughs> Speaking of things prohibited, a police officer went up to a woman at a state park and said, Ma'am, swimming is prohibited in this lake. The lady said, Why didn't you tell me when I was removing my clothes? To which the officer replied, Well, that's not prohibited. <laughs> the 1920s was a long time ago, so let's talk about things more recent. Now, did you all hear about the uh, possible railroad strike across the nation? It's in the news right now, right? It's causing the publisher of the children's book, The Little Engine That Could, to rename it The Little Engine That Could Use a Raise. <laughs> <laughs> I know during this economy, it's been difficult to find employees. So many Monroe County business owners are finding themselves doing more at their business, like cooking and cleaning and stocking shelves, and saying to themselves, so that's why Bill calls out sick so much. <laughs> All right, so who is here with us tonight? We have Great Wolf Lodge. We have My Girl Management Services. And Qualified Media. All of them have four nominations. All are competing in the best business leader category, which begs the question, will the losers be fired? <laughs> Speaking of Great Wolf Lodge, all three water parks are here tonight, including Camelback and Kalahari. And you kind of have to wonder, who's watching the tourists tonight? <laughs> Nobody's laughing, so you should have... <laughs> Are you people here, or is this just stand up? Uh... Maybe we should do a show. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the gang from Barley Creek Brewing Company has lots of tables tonight. They're in the house. 
Unfortunately, the founder of Barley Creek, Trip Ruvain, couldn't be here tonight. But if he was, he would say, give a man a beer and he wastes an hour. Teach a man how to brew and he wastes a lifetime. <laughs> of course, the Pocono Mountains Visitors Bureau is here. They are getting ready for their big four county litter pickup on September 24th. Now they're trying to get people to stop littering, but it's backfired. They put up signs that say, fine for littering. It's, it's all in the wording, folks. Come on, come on. I don't think they're drinking enough. I mean, oh, that's right, prohibition, sorry. Kinsley ShopRite in Broadisville is here. The largest ShopRite in the nation. Woohoo! They've got so much going on inside that store. It's like the West End Fair every day of the week. You know, during COVID, they said a mask and gloves are enough to go to the grocery store. They lied. Everybody else had clothes on. Oh, you've been a great audience. I'd like to box you all up and take you home like unclassified documents. Well, we've got some great awards to give out tonight. We're going to do that next. Now, here's the Something Else Band to take us out to break. Extraordinary care, outstanding patient experience, accessible services. When you choose St. Luke's Monroe Campus, you choose compassionate care delivered by our highly trained staff of healthcare professionals, all powered by the strength of St. Luke's University Health Network. ESSA Bank & Trust loves giving back and financially supporting the communities, organizations, and people we have the privilege to serve. ESSA offers a full suite of business and personal banking solutions with 21 locations in the Pocono region, Lehigh Valley, and Greater Philadelphia area. Visit ESSABank.com to learn more. Member FDIC. Welcome back to the 2022 Busy Awards, coming to you live from Mount Airy Casino Resorts. <laughs> this is a beautiful place. You look fantastic, by the way. Your bar boa is so nice, but I'm it's making, shedding everywhere. I I'm mean, making a trail. You oh my goodness, me. wow. <laughs> All right, we're gonna give away some awards now. Presenting Best Business Card Design. You may watch him on WFMZ as host of Business Matters. You may hear him on iHeartRadio. You may read his column in the morning call, and when he's not busy doing all that, 
He's the CEO of the sixth largest chamber of commerce in the United States. And he just won the Distinguished Leadership Award from the Mincy Trail. We're going to welcome Tony Ionelli, joined by the woman who loves all things local, works in every community across Monroe, Lehigh, and Northampton counties, the Executive Vice President of the Northern Tier, Greater Lehigh Valley Affiliated Chambers, and the Easton Phillipsburg Area Initiatives, Mrs. Jessica O'Donnell Gower. All right, all right. Thank you, George. Thank you, everybody. This place is amazing. Not every unbelievable what a night. Even the band's killer. Thank you so much. Band. Thank you to all of you. I want to just say real quickly, Sarah, our chair, we thank you. Thank you for allowing me and the chamber to be part of all this. It's an incredible night. George and Connie, I love you, your friends, your, your colleagues, and I appreciate all you've done as our chair, our past chair. Chris is here. Thank you so much, Chris, for being here tonight. And with that, I'm going to turn, actually, this is the second time I've been here in two weeks because last week, Jessica got married right down the road from here. Woo! Yeah, there's her husband right there. Yeah. Very attractive guy. <laughs> All right. Well, Tony, you are no stranger to the radio. Radio broadcasting was introduced in 1920 and was the first mass broadcasting medium that brought this country together. And it's still bringing us together today. Just like radio, it has had a lasting impact on our era. The perfect business card design leaves a lasting impression and can say a lot about someone's business. So Tony and I are very excited to kick this off and present this year's award for best business Business card design. The nominees are Best Business Card Design. Level Up Marketing. Pocono Dessert Company. All right, go ahead. Hey, while she's open that, Hayden, thank you uh, so, so much, Chantel and Jessica. Thank you so much, Caitlin. Thank you to the chamber staff up here. All right, here we go. We got the winner. All right, the drum roll. LVL Up Level Marketing. Congratulations. Everybody, uh, I'm the owner of Level Up Marketing, and uh, yeah, I did not expect that at all, but that's awesome. As you can see, we're a very creative kind of uh, marketing team. Uh, we started two years ago, one week right before the pandemic, and it's been a journey. So, thank you so much. Mario Scavella, Mario Scavella, thank you for your service. There's the first award, Connie. Ready okay. for another one? I am. Let's do it. Who do we it's have getting next? getting exciting. Presenting best business logo is Stephanie Fairbanks from Regional Advertising Director of the Pocono Record and the Pocono Chamber of Commerce Board Member. And along with her is William of 138 Beyond the Decor and Venue 138. Good afternoon, everyone. Everyone looks good tonight. Clap it up for yourselves. All right. So Stephanie, my sight was getting worse. So I went to get my eyes checked. It's true Gilded Age fashion. I ended up purchasing a monocle instead. <laughs> well, well, at least now you have 1920 vision. <laughs> and you can see the designs of all these wonderful nominees for the Best Business Logo. Best Business Logo. Big Screen Escapes. Rysec Farms Coffee Roaster. KMB Plumbing, Electrical and HVAC. Magnolia Inn and Wellness Center. My Girl Managed Services. 
Quantify Media, Women's Veterans Museum. All right, and the winner is... I'm excited. Women's Veterans Museum. Museum. surprising. Oh my God. This is for all the women who have put on their combat boots and have said yes to the call to serve our country, to defend our country. I just want to say thank you to the chamber members. Our logo, our logo is the heels inside of the military boots, which shows that as women, we can transition from the heels to the boots without breaking a stride and continue on. So thank you all very much. This is really an honor. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for everything. <laughs> this is... Yeah. All right, next up, presenting the curbside appeal, we have Todd Morris, owner and director of Search and Destroy Media, and Jamie Schmilk, the CFO of the Pocono Mountains Visitors Bureau. Todd, did you know the Hollywood sign was built in 1923? Actually, Jamie, it, was originally, it originally read as Hollywood Land and featured over 4,000 light bulbs, making it the brightest icon of the LA landscape. Wow. That must have been a sight to see. Just like this iconic sign, the exterior buildings help us recognize our favorite organizations and make us giddy in excitement as we approach them. And tonight, we are excited to present the Best Curbside Appeal Award. And the nominees are... Best Curbside Appeal, Great Wolf Lodge, Northampton Community College, Monroe Campus, And the winner is... Give me a second. Super confidential information. Yeah. Best curbside Ready. appeal. Ready? Northampton County Community Campus, Monroe. Congratulations. Congratulations. for all your votes. If you've never been to Northampton Community College, it's a beautiful campus, come up and visit. We have an, a great library for you to look at. We have a lot of art galleries, and if Mother Nature cooperates, we're gonna have some really good foliage in a couple weeks. So thank you. How many of you have been to our Monroe campus? Just raise your hand. Okay, yes. great curbside appeal up there. Come on up and visit us soon, okay? Thank you all very much.
are just moving along here, folks. It's just a long walk to the steps. Oh, it's a long walk. <laughs> I'm tired. In fact, <laughs> I only have to go another 10 minutes walking at this pace, and I'll hit my goal for the day. Oh, so. my goodness. <laughs> All right, we're presenting, let's Thank see. <laughs> What are we presenting next? Uh, best interior design. Okay. And we have Frank Sheehy, Director of Retail Actions and, oh, actually, a, Attractions, a tra attractions yeah. and Entertainment at Great Wolf Lodge, Pocono. And also uh, Oksana Babinska, the co-owner of Magnolia Inn and Spa and Magnolia Streamside Resort. Come on up. Frank, did you know the Art Deco style was the architectural staple of the 1920s, featuring strong geometric shapes and colors? Well, Oksana, did you also know that you know both of our lodges are very rustic, right? And um, we have, um, so in the 1920s, they established both electricity and uh, plumbing. I'm, I'm probably most thankful for the indoor plumbing part of it. <laughs> <laughs> We are so excited to present the nominees for the best interior design, and I'll also have interior plumbing and electricity. <laughs> best interior design. Kalahari Resort and Conventions. Kinsley's ShopRite. Level Up Marketing. Mount Airy Casino Resort. Pocono Dessert Company. St. Luke's Health Center, Pocono Summit. And the, and winners the winner are is Mount Airy Casino, Casino Resort, Resort and Spa. Spa. Thank you so much. I finally get to know what it's like to be Kanye West, the greatest! Thank you very much. All right, coming up next, we have some great awards like Best Restaurant, Best Hospitality Employee, Best Small Business, and Best Large Business. We'll be giving that away next. We'll be right back with more. Band, take it away. It just goes to show what can be done if you have the right surgeons and the right doctors. Because I was concerned with the mass that I saw in her abdomen, I knew she just needed to go to surgery as soon as possible. The diagnosis was one cancer appendiceal, and whatever need I would have, I knew she was going to address it. That impressed me. At the Lehigh Valley Topper Cancer Institute, we have a team of experts who are specialty trained in their field. Best word I can find, phenomenal. 
Things you might want to do yourself. A haircut or baking a cake. Things you don't want to do. Wiring the electric in your home, cutting down a large tree, or building your own business website. A do-it-yourself website often looks like do-it-yourself and can end up costing you more in the long run. And easy to do, free websites come with another hidden catch. You typically cannot move it. You're locked into their system. WebLeaps builds websites using today's internet standards. It's locally owned and operated. Contact WebLeaps today. Welcome back once again, folks. Mount Airy Casino Resort. George Roberts and Connie Roberts here with you. Fantastic uh, evening that we're having here for the Pocono Mountains Chamber of Commerce. So we've got some more awards to give out, Connie. Who's our next presenter? Well, we're presenting Best Restaurant, and we have Gary C. From, he's the general manager and morning host on the Pocono 96.7. And we have Angela Kinsley, customer service manager at Kinsley ShopRite, the largest ShopRite in the world. All right. <laughs> Hey, Gary. Yes. Did you know my great grandfather started up an underground distillery during Prohibition? Oh, yeah? That sounds like a real whiskey business. <laughs> well, we're excited to be here today presenting the award for Best Restaurant, and the nominees are Best Restaurant Shawnee Craft Brewing Company, Sorrenti Family Estate. And the winner is Sorrenti Family Estate. So we're going to have to accept this award on their behalf. They were here. Um, maybe there was a wine emergency? Possibly. Thank you, folks. You got it, Joy. Appreciate it. Uh, thank you. One of, the, All right. one of the wine barrels must have been leaking. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Connie. They had to go protect it. Presenting Best Hospitality Employee, we have George Johnson, Director of Client Management at Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield and Pocono Chamber of Commerce Board Member, and... Claudette Williams, CEO of Women Veterans Museum. Hey, Claudette. Hey, George. How you doing? Good. So, best hospitality employee. Wow. The 1920s, I guess, are recognized for their top forms of social entertainment. Wow. Cinema, jazz music, and baseball. The most notable figures from that time were Charlie Chaplin, Louis Armstrong, and Babe Ruth. Wow, big names. Much like these famous people from the 1920, our nominee tonight for best hospitality employee know how to entertain and bring the best quality of service to their guests. The nominee for this category are Best Hospitality Employee, Rachel Sebring, Great Wolf Lodge. Beth Ann Ritter, Ideal Property Management. Marissa Rusco, Kalahari Resort. Cheyenne Hobb, Magnolia Streamside Resort. And the winner is. That's kind of hard, George. Okay. How do you get this open? All righty, here we go. Go ahead. Marissa uh, Rusko, Rusko Kalahari, Kalahari Resort and, and Conventions.
<laughs> a lot of people had a lot of different things to tell me what to say, um, but basically I just love what I do every single day and Kalahari is the perfect place to do it. So thank you so much. <laughs> We're going to move on to Best Small Business and presenting Colby Dianiri of Business Development Management for ServPro of Southern Monroe and Dee Ranieri, Director of Community Partnerships, Northampton County Community College, Monroe Campus and Co-Treasurer of the Pocono Chamber of Commerce. Good evening, everybody. Hey, D. why were Russian cars from the 1920s to the 1950s notoriously bad? I don't know, Colby, why? They were always Stalin. <laughs> wow, that actually got some laughs, that's pretty good. Tony promised. <laughs> Small businesses are an important economic engine for both Monroe County and the United States, so let's hear it for small business. Luckily for us all, these small businesses are reliable staples in our community. The nominees in this category are... Best Small Business, KMB Plumbing, Electrical and HVAC, Magnolia Streamside Resort, My Girl Managed Services, We One's Daycare and Preschool. And the winner is... Envelopes are tough tonight. They're like hermetically sealed. Building the suspense. Magnolia, Magnolia Streamside Resort! <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Um, you know, we took a big risk five and a half years ago when my sister and I packed our bags and left New York City to buy a small property in the Pocono Mountains, and it has been the best decision we've ever made. Thank you so much. It's been an honor. Well, we just gave away the Small Business Award, so I guess it's only appropriate we give away the Large Business Award. And uh, to do that, Connie, we're going to present the Large Business, uh, the presenters for the Large Business Award happen to be Adam Rizek, who's the owner of Rizek Farms Coffee Roasters, and Courtney Corosimo, founder and CEO of Quantify Media and Pocono Dessert Company. Hello everyone. Hi. What once was an early 1900s dream of traveling by air soon became a closer reality with Charles Lindbergh and Amelia Earhart's transatlantic flights. These pioneers paved the way for the airline industry we know and only sometimes love today. Both being small business owners, we hope our businesses one day will be able to soar to the great heights of these best large business nominees. And they are? Best Large Business, Barley Creek Hospitality, Kalahari Resort and Conventions, Kinsley's ShopRite, Mount Airy Casino Resort. And the winner is Barley, Barley Creek. Creek.
Thank you for having us. So I'm not a camera person, so I'm going to talk really fast. So thank you. We love Trip and Steph and Aileen and everyone. Bye. <laughs> Wow, good thing we have a big stage. I know. That was a lot of people. I knew they had a lot of tables here, but wow. <laughs> That's large. Glad to see them all come up, though. That was nice. <laughs> OK, so we do have more awards, as you know. And I'm sure you're out there waiting to see if you're a big winner or not. Coming up next, we'll be giving away the uh, winner for new business, uh, best business leader, and best nonprofit. So don't go away too far. <laughs> because these commercial breaks are only two minutes long, and you may miss your opportunity, especially if you're in one of these categories. So you can always send somebody else to the bar. All right, we'll be right back. Stay with us. Something Else Band. Take it away. You can absolutely build a career in hospitality working in the Poconos. All of the energy of a big city with the exclusivity of a small town. I love the Poconos because it's entertaining. I love the diversity of the people. I love being outdoors. Here you can definitely gain the experience that you need for a long-term job. No experience, no worries. We'll train you. Live here. Play here. Work here. The, the Pocono, Pocono Mountains. Mountains. Visit, Visit PoconoMountains.com. This? is a lot like your Highmark health plan. It goes where you go, near, far, even here. And no matter where you are, it helps you stay healthy. Same goes for your Highmark plan. We're broadening your options. Hi, so virtual care appointments with specialists, psychiatrists, even physical therapists can happen anytime, anywhere. It's healthcare that works harder by going further. Because life. Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield. here folks at the 2022 busy awards and if you're at home and you're a business owner or you work in a business and you're wondering how do I get involved with the busy awards how do we do that Connie we got to go to busyawards.com and that's where you can find out Logical. all the details right, right. that's right and contact the Chamber of Commerce that's right it's only for members of the Pocono Chamber of Commerce all right it's time now to give away the best new business, and our presenters include Tony Rusnak, the Regional Vice President of Commonwealth Charter Academy. And Jennifer Narkovich, owner of My Girl Managed Services. Yeah. Yeah. All, right. all right. Here we go. Is everybody having a great time? Yeah. I knew I could get you all to scream and yell. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> A little character whom we all know and love as Mickey Mouse made his debut on a short animated film called Steamboat Willie in 1928. Like the short film, many new businesses had premieres, grand openings, and unique characteristics that set them apart from the rest. 
We hope each of these nominees in the best new business category become Monroe County icons as recognizable in our community as Mickey Mouse is throughout the world. And the nominees for best new businesses are Best New Business, Adventure Technology Services, Do More Foundation, Ideal Property Management, Level Up Marketing, Magnolia Inn and Wellness Center, Pocono Dessert Company. Okay. All right. And the winner is. I'm glad you're opening that because I get paper cuts opening email. No, wait, I can't get it open. Jeepers. All right. And the winner is? Pocono Dessert Company. Sweet, huh? Get it? <laughs> Thank you everyone so much. Um, we opened in January of this year. Um, Tracy left her full-time job as a labor and delivery nurse. Um, and now she gets to help people in the Poconos satisfy their sweet tooth. And the community has just welcomed us in with open arms and we are so, so, so thankful. Thank you everyone. Up next, presenting Best Business Leader is Don Seipel, President of St. Luke's Hospital Monroe Campus, and Kenneth Long, Interim President of East Stroudsburg University. I think Ken needs the mic a little higher. Well, welcome. Hey, all you business leaders, we're celebrating the Best Business Leader category. Ken, nice to see you. It's great seeing you, Don. Yeah. So some of the world's most famous business leaders and innovators came out of the 1920s. These names include the likes of Henry Floyd, who innovated automobiles in the way they are produced. J.P. Morgan, who monopolized American industry and was a leader in global financial services. John Rockefeller made a lot of money off his oil industry just as Andrew Carnegie did with steel. We have the honor of presenting this year's Business Leader Award, following in the footsteps of these iconic figures. And hopefully, the bank accounts will agree. The nominees are... Best Business Leader, Stephanie Rath, Barley Creek Hospitality. Bill Colavito, Great Wolf Lodge. Kevin Barry, KMB Plumbing, Electrical and HVAC. Jennifer Narkovich, My Girl Managed Services. Courtney Corosimo, Quantify Media. All righty, the big moment. Drum roll, please. Yeah. And the winner is? Stephanie Raff, Bali Creek Hospitality. Oh yeah. Stephanie is not able to be with us tonight, but on her behalf, we are accepting it as a team. So thank you guys very much. Have a good night. Woo! 
right, we got to lower this microphone back down. <laughs> <laughs> Mini size. There we go. Okay. All right, we're going to uh, move on to best nonprofit. And we got a lot of uh, entries in this category. And presenting Pete and Matt Hensel, the owners of Big Screen Escapes, where you can really get away. From everything. You can try to. And never come back and be lost right, right. forever. And here they come. Now disappear. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. How about the band? Now, remember, How about the band? We're going to need you on this, okay? We're, you be ready. We're going to need you. We need all the help we can get, okay. All right, let's see what we can do here. Go ahead. Suspenders, top hats, feathers, pearls, and flapper dresses. These were staples of the 1920s fashions. Oh, you know what? I have a very relevant and timely joke for this. Do you want to hear it? Is this the one about George Roberts and the rubber chicken? No, we can't do that one. This is live. This is live. We can't do that one. That's a good one, though. We can't do that one. No, uh, so you ready? Yeah. You ready, everybody? Why were the trousers not allowed to go to school? Why were the trousers, trousers not allowed to go to school? Why? They were suspended. <laughs> hey -o! The band! Well, well just no, that's, like... That's my line. What? That's my line. They were suspended. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, that's... Uh, oh, no, yeah, go ahead. That's your line. Go yeah. ahead, sorry. Sorry. Mama Just like the nonprofits in this, or, this uh, category, we were not paid for these jokes. Read your okay, list. now I can go. And so without further ado, here are the nominees for Best Nonprofit. Best Nonprofit. Angels and Dragonflies, Children's Charity Incorporated. Do More Foundation. Labor of Love, USA. Metamorphosis Women's Empowerment Pocono Family YMCA Northbound and Company Youth Infusion Okay, you ready? I'm ready. May I? Please. I am the oldest. Yes. I'm the pretty. Okay. True. Any and the winner is in the category of best nonprofit, we should be able to escape this since you're not here on the table. Hey, hey, ready? Go ahead. Yep. Pocono, Pocono Family YMCA. It's been three years that we've been coming and hoping that we win, and this is the year that we actually got it. Um, we'd like to thank the Chamber of Commerce, and on behalf of the YMCA, I'd like to call out our CEO, Scott Peckins, and our president, which is Rachel Burbank. Thanks again. Have a good night. Earlier in the evening, whoa, earlier in the evening, folks, we gave away an award for the best restaurant, and it went to Sorrenti's, and we found Lucia. Lucia, come on up, give us your acceptance speech. Congratulations. Sorry, sorry, George. I was uh, out giving away the secret family recipes. <laughs> Um, but I just wanted to say thank you so much to the Chamber of Commerce for putting this together. Thank you to everybody who voted for us. Um, we're just so happy to be part of this community and so happy that you all can enjoy our family recipes. Yeah. All right, folks, we're down to the last three awards. Best tiny but mighty business, 
best rock star employee, and best overall business. And it's coming up right after this commercial break. We'll be right back. Ben, take it away. St. Luke's has been a cornerstone of the Lehigh Valley for over 150 years. It was originally founded to provide industrial workers with immediate local access to care. In the last century and a half, while healthcare has transformed dramatically, St. Luke's dedicated physicians, employees, and volunteers have proven they can respond to changes with exciting, innovative, and bold healthcare solutions. St. Luke's ability to deliver the highest quality care at the lowest cost is truly transformational and will ensure our future. Looking to tell your story? George Roberts Productions creates TV shows, internet shows, video series, and information pieces. With over 30 years in the business, we can create your next video. From writing to final production, we make you look good. Contact George Roberts Productions today, 570-664-7399, or online at georgetv.com. Your business is important to us. This is it, 2022 Busy Awards coming to you live from the Mount Airy Casino Resort. Connie, we're down to the last three awards, so let's get right to it. Okay. Presenting Best Tiny But Mighty Business, Shannon Gerhard, Kalahari Senior Sales Manager, and Lauren Kautz, Kalahari National Sales Manager. Dear goodness, help me. Okay, um, I heard silent films were big in the 1920s. Do you think we could find any on Netflix to watch? I don't know, Shannon, but I read Netflix is losing a lot of subscribers and 130,000 people have stopped watching. Yeah, I read the same report. It all happened after one man in New York changed his password. <gasps> <laughs> We are so excited to be presenting tonight the award for the best, but tiny, but mighty business. The nominees are... Best Tiny, But Mighty Business. DJ Ruby Entertainment. Rysek Farms Coffee Roaster. My Girl Managed Services. Picturesque Luxury Picnics. Pocono 96.7. Quantify Media, Rick Porvoznik Process Service, Underdog Computer and Network Support. Ready? And the winners are, is <laughs> Pocono, Pocono 96.7. 96 
so many great nominees, I don't know what to say. Uh, I had big shoes to fill when I took over the morning show. Huge shows, huge shoes to fill. And thanks everybody who voted. We got to keep it live and local. That's what I try to do. Try to keep the live and local thing going and, you know, and make some money doing it. Thank you very much. I didn't expect this. Thank you. You know, when I was a kid, I always thought that the announcers lived in the radio. I always thought they were only like two inches tall, but. So we got the tiny but mighty business. All right, sorry about that. Let's go move on. Best rock star employee presenting that, Bob Solheim, tap room manager at Shawnee Craft Brewing, and Patrice Dume, director of University Business Accelerator and Entrepreneurship at East Stroudsburg University and secretary of the Pocono Chamber of Commerce Board. Hi, everyone. <laughs> okay, so Bob, did you know that the electric refrigerator was widely distributed in the 1920s, making it the kitchen essential we know it to be today? Huh. Speaking of refrigerators, lately my coworkers have been renaming the food in our shared office fridge. Really? How so? Yeah, today I ate a yogurt named Sharon. No. These outstanding employees would never take renamed food. Our nominees in the Rockstar Employee category are... Best Rockstar Employee. Luz Bravo, Great Wolf Lodge. Ian Heck, Lehigh Valley Health Network Pocono. Aaron Tam, Quantify Media. Mary Rayburn, Pocono Mountains Visitors Bureau. Emil Buwadi, St. Luke's University Health Network. And the, the winner, winner is, is Mary Rever from Pocono Mountain Visitors Bureau. Chris Barrett. So, <laughs> there you go. We are here tonight to accept this um, award on Mary's behalf. She took a vacation after her 48 years of working with us. So um, we are very honored to work with Mary. She is very honored to receive this award. Uh, she sent me like a two page email about what she wanted to say if she was here, but then called today and said, just say that I am very honored to receive it. So thank you for nominating. Well, Thank you for honoring Mary with her award for the Rockstar Employee of the Year. Thank you. All right, it's the big award of the night. It is the big award, Connie, because it's the last award. <laughs> and then it's a party. And then it is a party, <laughs> yes. All right, All presenting right. for the best overall business is Sarah Wallace. She's the chairwoman of the Pocono Chamber of Commerce and branch manager of ESSA on Main Street, Stroudsburg. And Ryan Patufka, the operations recruiter for New Jersey Weiss Stores. They happen to know each other. Come on up. Hello there. The most famous book of the 1920s was the highly regarded 1925 classic, The Great Gatsby, by F. Scott Fitzgerald. This novel portrayed the quintessential portrait of Jazz Age America. Much like Gatsby captured a distinct snapshot of the Gilded Age in America, these businesses embody the ideals in Monroe County, hard work, community engagement, and resiliency. The nominees for best overall business are Best Overall Business, Camelback Resort, Kinsley's ShopRite, Mount Airy Casino Resort, Quantify Media.
And the winner, these envelopes. The winner is. And the winner is. Kinsley Shoprite. <laughs> lights are pretty bright. First, I'd just like to thank you, Mario, too, for all your years of service. But uh, thank you for this award. We really appreciate it. And uh, thank you. Okay. Got any? No, you're good. Thank you. <laughs> All right, nobody leave, see? We're gonna have a little bit of fun next. I'm kidding. That's it for the 2022 Busy Awards. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming out. Everybody working behind the scenes to make this happen. Thank you, everyone, with the Pocono Chamber of Commerce. Fabulous job. Thank you so much, everybody. Come on up on the stage and just... You gotta recognize them all. Jazz and Hayden, Chantel. Caitlin, thank you so much. Really appreciate all the hard work that you did making this happen. And everybody watching at home and everybody in the audience, don't forget, we've got 2023 coming up next year. So start planning now. You can check it all out at busyawards.com. Thanks, everybody. Something Else Band, take us out. They're going to be here playing more afterwards. So please don't go away. And everybody who has won an award, stay here for a photo. Everybody at home, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Yes. Bye, everyone. Bye. Good night.